What's good, y'all, and welcome to another episode of Common Sense Reactions. You are back in the building with the one, the only sense, and I'm representing that Family Money Everything brand. What that means is make sure that your family comes first, you got your bag right, and everything else will balance out after that. You feel me? I know. I know. I was consistent. I was on here every day, but man, shit. Money plays, money moves trying to shake, trying to move, trying to get into different spaces and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I had to not fall back. I don't like that term because it makes it seem like I was just chilling. But, like, I had to redirect my energy for a little bit. And there's a little bit of distraction in there. A little bit of distraction, you know what I mean? But I deserve it, nigga, because I've been, yo, trust me. Shit I've been going through and the shit that I've been working for and the shit that I've been working towards, uh, uh, I deserve I deserve a little, you know what I mean? A little party time and shit like that. But now we getting back to business. Um, J-Man has another channel. J-Man, how many channels you got now, bro? But apparently this is his Whoops channel where he just deals with all the negativity. I get it. I respect it. You're trying to separate the negative from the positive. So that's cool. All right. So apparently Butter got arrested, crashed out, all this type of stuff. Like, yo, Chicago's going wild right now. Especially with the Venezuelan gangs and all that. It's just going stupid. But I'm going to get right into this content. I apologize. But, but it just got woo. So, so let's just watch this woo, bro. Let's just watch this woo. Going Dan Investigates has exclusive new details, including this body cam footage, showing a chase and eventual arrest of a repeat felon in the western suburbs. The man is no stranger to law enforcement. He testified in the high-profile murder. Yeah, no, they got... <laughs> They got put on camera evading the law, bro. Jumping fences and shit. This is... Cr but butter, fam. What are you doing, my guy? Like, bro. You already got... Bro, you have had multiple chances, fam. You, like... You got arrested with a switch and got home, like, less than 24 hours later after they had already arrested you and, like, twisted your arm into getting on stage and, like, telling on some dead people. Which I don't really consider telling, but, like, who am I? It doesn't matter, because I'm, like, you know, I'm, I'm a sidewalk nigga, so what I say doesn't matter when it comes to the streets, you feel me? But as a sidewalk nigga, I don't get where the violation is telling on somebody who ain't can't go to jail. Like, whatever. I'm not going to jail for a dead guy. Sorry. 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 I don't get it. But y'all will talk about the dead. This the dead. Oh, your dead homie. This person. All that type of stuff. You have re you have no respect for the dead then. But like, like this is a bridge too far. Like, oh, uh, th this guy has shot him and he's gone now. Like, that's that's a bridge too far. But you know, your dead homie and all of that type of stuff. That's cool. All right, all right, cool. I get it. Streets don't make sense. But butter, bro. You just got away from that. Like. You know how many chances you want these people to give you, bro? This is wild work. Trial for Chicago rapper Grunt gunned down in the Gulf, uh, Gulf Coast. That's right. As investigative reporter Ben Bradley found a series of arrests and convictions hasn't been enough to keep him off the streets. Gunfire in the Gulf. Yo, they sound just as disappointed as I sounded just now. They were like, all of this has not been enough to keep him off the streets. <laughs> Coast in 2020 created a startling scene, shell casings next to luxury boutiques. Prosecutors said rival gang members gunned down Carlton Weekly, better known as FBG Duck. This man, Rakeem Wilton, testified at the... R.I.P. Duck. Now, the picture they just used of Butter is disrespectful, fam. Like, why would y'all do my man Butter like that, dog? Like, don't you know he is a celebrity out here in these YouTube streets, bro? Why would you do butter like that, dog? They got him on here looking like Ducky from Land Before Time, bro. This is wild. This is, this is wild. <laughs> this oh, oh, let's go. A federal trial providing insight into a raging war between rival Southside gangs, but refusing to, as he put it, snitch on anyone still alive. Fast forward to West Suburban Hinsdale last week. An officer tried to pull over a car driving erratically at 5 a.m. when the driver fled. <laughs> Yo, Butter, what are you doing? 5 a.m. G's in Chicago? Bro, 
Like, you don't respect your life, fam. I really thought you was trying to get away from the streets and shit, bro. You like, you you fooled me, my guy. Smoked the car. The driver crashed into an embankment. Just threw something outside the window. I can't tell what it is. Hands out the window! Hey, get back in the car! Officers quickly caught up to Will. Once he was cuffed, he clammed up. Police say they found two guns. That, combined with Wilton's criminal history, raises questions. Court records show he pled guilty to conspiracy to commit murder in 2015 and was sentenced to eight years. He only had to serve half that time. He's also been charged with aggravated unlawful use of a weapon at least three times in Cook County. He was convicted once and got a year. Another case was dropped after a judge suppressed evidence. Cook County prosecutors sought detention after the most recent arrest in March. But a judge released him. In the neighborhood, every delivery is a treat. Hey, man. I mean, even in the dishonorable behaviors taking place there, like, yeah. Yo, he had a little bit of, you know what I mean? I, I, I respect the fact that, you know, he was like, you know, he, he, he put it on his, he, he took his responsibility in the situation. He said, is my girl good? He said, whatever, you know what I mean? Whatever going on, put it on me. You know what I'm saying? As, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not trying to send shots, but as opposed to when Lil Reese was getting arrested, <laughs> he said, yeah, it's the AK in the house, but that's hers. Every, all the, there's a bunch of guns in there. All of them hurts. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm like I'm 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 obviously aware that the situations are different because probably he was in Texas and like you know it's legal gun ownership. So why go to jail if your girl can own up to the guns and all that type of stuff? And like then you don't gotta go to jail or whatever the case may be. I don't know, bro. But it was just kind of funny to see him put it on his girl immediately. You know what I'm saying? And. But uh, but I held it down like you like whatever's going on that's mine like you know what I mean I don't know what's in there but whatever it is I'll, I'll hold that you know what I'm saying it's just sad bro cause like bro but uh, you have no reason to be in Chicago bro you don't have to be in Chicago like what do you got to prove bro people don't you know what I mean people already have discounted you as a official guy from that side like you know like you know you did what you did back in the day you were respected back then and then you did something that caused you to lose all of your respect so what, what are you trying to out there still trying to prove and swing and move around like why i don't get it I'm like bro i'm really confused i'll be confused as shit hold on that's wild bro all of wilton's previous crimes occurred in Cook county last week he was one mile into dupage county when he was arrested State's attorney Bob Berlin charged him with a class X felony, and a DuPage judge ordered him locked up and held until trial. That's wild, bro. Police aren't sure what Wilton and his girlfriend were doing in Hinsdale at five in the morning. So where is he right now? Locked he, up? He's locked up in the DuPage County Jail, but the story draws that distinction between. Similar crime, unlawful use of a weapon or possession by a felon. In Cook County, you're oftentimes just right back out on the street. In DuPage, they upgrade the charge. Well, you've yeah, seen that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let us start here, bro. Um, butter. Man, first off, man, you don't say condolences um, unless somebody passed, right? Unless, someone, unless they died. All right, so no condolences, but... On phone now, it hit different. Um, free butter, man, it hit different. Um, he locked up. I never think this nigga serious, bro. I don't know. I don't know if I'm supposed to take him serious right now. Like, should I be stone faced right now? Like, yeah, some real shit. But like, I like. I don't know, like the look and the expression on his face. I can never take bro serious, dog. I'm not here for Um What is we seeing in this video, bro? Let's just break this shit down. Butter. You too big to be whooping like this. 
I just I just had these conversations with you, so I'm not even finna do all of that. I'm not even finna do one of them type of videos, bro. It hit different. I'm just here to do my job, and I'm here to do my job. So, long story short, bro, what we seeing in this video, bro? Let's break let this shit down. Butter still out here over whooping, bro. That that's what we see, and everybody pointing out. The fact, um, let's just break this down, bro. Uh, butter God is too break big. Break it down already. Break it down already. Jesus Christ, what well, you done set the breakdown up like 50 times already, bro. If you're going to break it down, break it down. Jesus. Be whooping like this. Butter, regardless of people looking at you like whatever they looking at you like, it don't matter what they looking at you like. Because you FBG butter now. They can look at you like you're not FBG, but you still FBG butter. You see, as soon as you just did something, what they do? They just connect with you right back. They got, you just got locked up for a new situation on phone number. They just put that clip with the duck clip from, and, they, and, and bring it back all these, all these feelings and emotions and go get the community riled back up. It hit different. Um, Yo, I gotta say that. What we seeing right now, bro? Chicago niggas and Memphis niggas pronounce things the craziest. Like, did like, that nigga just said funerals. Like, like, I can't even imitate how you say funerals. <laughs> Up in there in Chicago, Furnos is Furnos, Furnos. Like, uh, hearing a Memphis nigga say music is crazy. It's like, yo, bro, where do you get the art from? There's no art in music. Where do you get music? Like, like, where music? Like, where? Well, how do you get that, bro? I don't understand it. But uh, still whooping. But you got kids, bro. You five in the morning in his deal. You up to no good, brother. I'm disappointed in you, brother. And I can't, I be trying to help people get to that next level. Right. Y'all got to want to help y'all selves, bro. And it different when y'all want to help y'all self, bro. And y'all wonder why I had to take FYB out my name. Because I can't be tied to all of these roots, bro. Um... So I do just go back, J Man or the Whoop Man. Um, let it, let it, let it start there. Um, then the situation with Butter, Butter, Mikey Dollars, FYB Dude. I can't. Be Bro, I swear, like yo, if you tell me this man took the regular bus to school, there's there's no fucking way. You can't convince me, bro. There's no amount of money you could pay me. There's no. A teacher that you could bring to say, oh, yeah, he was in my class. He was completely normal. Like, nah, that nigga definitely rode the short bus to school. Shorty, shorty is slow. Like, funny as hell, but slowish. But smartish. Like, it's kind of like a weird, confusing ass situation, but because, like, you know what I mean, bro? Yeah, he got caught up with the little glizzy that one time, but it's like, all right, cool. Like, you from that environment, bro. Your mind is forever going to say, I'd rather be safe than sorry. You feel me? Um, but he don't be out doing, like, the extras. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you never going to hear about him getting arrested nowhere near Chicago. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if he's coming in, he's dipping in, dipping out, like that type of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it feel like better be in the rack all the time bro and i just don't understand it's like jeez why but bro moved out 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 of state you know what i mean he got himself tucked away like he got his he's focusing on his family and stuff like that so i respect j man i respect butter too man like you know i don't respect this though like you know i really wish he had stayed out the way i i guess the interview slowed down the checks are slowing down um, he has a, it seems like he has a pretty severe, like, drug addiction, like, as far as the perks go and stuff like that, so, you know, and, um, seems like he smokes a lot of weed and shit like that, so maybe all the money is just going into those vices and he's not investing it, and so now I feel like he gotta go back outside and move around and do this thing and do that thing, like, 
Yeah, that's disappointing, bro. Be connected to these type of woos because I'm trying to set an example for the youth right now, bro. Let, let's just start that, bro. Um, and y'all know Duke, that's my blood brother. Blood bro to death. But if you still whooping like that, bro, and keeping that type of company around, because I can't, I can't be around, like, but I just seen you on the interview saying you don't do nothing to go to jail. It looked like you just did something to go to jail, bro. So being around illegal, illegal whoops, I can't be whooping like that, bro. Um, I got to think about my family. I got to think about my daughter. Unfortunately, I'm still trying to get my daughter back, bro. It hit different. Um, I'm trying to get my family together. It hit different. Um, so... When I see stuff like this with Butter, it's crazy, bro, because you don't know how many people out here, Butter, you got to realize so many people wish they was in your position and then they see you doing stuff like this, like, man, if I was Butter, I would never be whooping like that. I'd be somewhere getting to the egg or I'd be, in that situation, I'd be somewhere put up five in the morning and hence still Butter, you really whooping like that? Here's the idea that you is out the way. Butter do need to be out the way. But his deal is crazy. Let, let's just start that. I don't even know what that said, Butter. Let's just start that. Where's his deal? It hit different when I don't know what that said, bro. And we from Chicago. Let's just start that. So then, who is you with? Who is you with, bro? Then you at the stop sign. When you at the stop sign, bro, how you even just keep going straight? Why you ain't turn left or turn right? Why you run straight to the whoop, bro? So, I know you all drugs. You over whooped. Because if you was thinking right, you would have just turned the wheel to the left. Running straight into a boulder is crazy, bro. <laughs> um, you ran into a boulder, bro. I seen that big ass boulder. Everybody seen the wall. You ran into a wall, folks. You ran to a wall. Ah, ah, ah. He showing sure shit there, bro. <laughs> he showing sure shit there. That man didn't make a... That man didn't turn the wheel at all. He didn't say, ah, shit. <laughs> like, you know, I feel like nigga might have just fucked around and fell asleep mid-fucking chase. You know what I'm saying? He was just like, oh, shit. Like, went to sleep mid-chase. You feel me? Because... Like, how the f you missed the wall, bro? Like, damn, bro. And then you took your you, you took your whole girl on a chase, bro. Like, I mean, but that's what they be liking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, you get in a car with butter and, like, 12 guns. Obviously, you on that. Like, you know what I mean? That should turn you on. You feel me? So, <laughs> it is what it is. But shit, dog. The least you could have done is spare the... F you could have spared shorty bro and like why do you have so many guns bro especially in an area where obviously j main is saying it's out the way it's not like you know i guess it, you shouldn't have no static out there like wouldn't one be sufficient you threw two out the window it's not what you threw one out the window i think they found like another two in the car like why do you have two like a shorty a spanker too like that's crazy bro <laughs> Oh, man. Look, I'm going to wrap this up because I already know how J-Man go. He just going to do a bunch of talking and stuff like that. And there's a lot of shit that he's going to say that I'm going to say anyhow. So let me just skip to that. Um, You know, we already been through this, man, bro. Like, um, sidewalk nigga opinion. Like, look, if you are lucky enough to escape the conditions of daily um, struggle, like, you know what I mean? Like, you actually have a perceivable exit um, to, like, putting your life on the line every day and um, you know, putting your freedom on the line every day. Use it. Like, just use it. You know what I'm saying? And the people who get mad at you say you changed. The people who said you switched up and, like, oh, you're not the same and you fake nigga and all that type of shit. Fuck them. Because they weren't never really your friends. They just wanted to see you down with them in the same place that they would be like they were comfortable as long as they knew that you would be the next to die after them or the first to die before them or like you know what i mean that that was that made them feel good in their hearts knowing that you were gonna die too 
Like, you know what I'm saying? That you was never going to be shit. You feel me? Um, everybody else is going to be happy for you. And everybody else is going to try and find a way that they can contribute to your success so that they can get a check as well. And then make sure you look out for those people. The ones who are willing to work for it. Like the ones who are like, man, I always believed in you. Yeah, you know I always supported you, big dog. I don't fuck with those people. Those people are fake too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, the ones who are like, yo, hey man, look, what you need, bro? I see you got a new car, man. You need, need somebody wash that car for you every day, look. But I'm trying to start a car detailing business. If you get me the little vacuum and all that shit, I come through, clean your car every week. You know what I mean? And then that will help me. You know what I mean? You just post me on, on your on your page and shit and, and let people know I do car de detailing, blah, blah, blah. And however I can help you, bro, like, let me know, blah, blah, blah. You know, like, look out for the people who are really trying to do something. You know what I mean? A nigga who says, yo, how you keep track of all your bookings? Don't worry about it, bro. I'll find you some more. Find you some more bookings and I'll keep track of all those bookings because you got other shit to do, bro. Just worry about that. You know what I mean? Keep those people around because they understand it too. The whole goal, the whole key is to escape death, not to get rich and then die. Fuck is the point of that? Makes no sense. You feel me? So, you already know what it is. Your boy sense. Um, always got to keep it real with y'all, man. From a sidewalk nigga. All my real sidewalk niggas. Drop the little walking emojis in the chat. I'm out. Family money, everything. What?